As director of the O'Neill Sea Odyssey program, Dan Hayfley has had a bird's eye view of the Santa Cruz Harbor for many years. So who better to tell the harbor's story as it turns 50? 50 Years of Safe Harbor is my first book. It is a collection of my columns about the 50th anniversary of the Santa Cruz Harbor. And so it's an easy read, it's a quick read, it gives you a nice overview of how the harbor was formed and some really fascinating stories about some of the people in this harbor. If you had a boat and you were a fisherman here in the mid-1800s, you parked your boat either on the wharf, on one of the wharfs that was in Santa Cruz, or off of Seabright Beach. Problem is, when you had a big swell or a storm, usually this happened at night, maybe you've been drinking, you had to go out and get your boat out of the way, otherwise your boat would wind up on the beach and destroyed and you lose all of your investment. So, fishermen advocated for a shelter at harbor. Three times the federal government came through, did surveys, official reviews, and said, yes, we need a harbor in Santa Cruz. But it wasn't until 1949 that they actually did something about it. Then they had to find a location. So they looked at different locations up and down the coast. They settled on Woods Lagoon because it was mid-county. There wasn't much else going on here. It was big enough. Uh, the only problem they had was the fact that sand would come in and, and clog up the channel. So the Army Corps of Engineers, federal government offered to pay for part of that and to deal with that. So in 1964, the harbor was constructed and boats began to move in here. There are 827 boats and wet slips in this harbor. Another 200 boats that are tied up at the end of those docks. So every one of those thousand boats has a family, has an owner, story, a party one night, something happened. When this harbor opened, the harbor was originally dredged by a machine that was used to build the harbor. A couple weeks before this harbor was opened, there was a big tsunami. It was the Good Friday tsunami in 1964. And one of the pieces of damage it did is it took the dredge and drove it offshore. Nobody knew where it was. So after some frustrating efforts to try to find it, the port director called up his friend Jack O'Neill, who was a surfer, of course, and was gonna build a building here in the harbor. He said, Jack, do you dive? And Jack says, yeah. He says, uh, can you go do some diving for us? You mean for the dredge? Uh, yeah, can you go find the dredge for us? We think that it's outside the harbor channel because one of the Stagnero boats hit it on the way in. So Jack got a couple of his friends, Bill Judd and Jerry Colfer, and they went out and they went diving. They found the dredge and then they concocted a very interesting scheme to bring the dredge up to the surface. They basically took some old engine boxes and filled them full of water, sunk them down to the bottom, cabled those to the dredge, and then pumped the water out, filled them full of air, and at low tide, brought the dredge back up. Very ingenious. In its 50th year of existence, Dan encourages everyone to visit the harbor and experience the role it plays in the Santa Cruz community. Well, one of the great landmarks in Santa Cruz County is on the front of the book, and that's the Walton Lighthouse. It was built in 2002, was built entirely with private donations, and it's an official Coast Guard light. But it's also a beacon for the community. When we think of Santa Cruz, we think of ocean. We think of beaches, and the lighthouses light the way. That basically, if you can, you know, make friends with somebody and get on a boat, you can go out sailing on a Wednesday night. Light a boat parade, same thing. You can come down here with your family, bundle up, and enjoy a really special night. The harbor is the access point to the ocean, and you don't have to necessarily own a boat to be able to get out on the ocean. You can kayak, you can come down here and rent a stand-up paddleboard, you can get on a boat with somebody else. The O'Neill Sea Odyssey program that I run is, is it's a free program for kids, and a lot of kids get out on the ocean who wouldn't otherwise. And by creating the access to the ocean here, this harbor, you are creating a constituency for ocean protection, which is also really important. People get out on the water, they get on the ocean, they see the sea otters, they see the whales, they understand the importance of this ocean. It's the largest feature on Earth, supplies half of the world's oxygen, and you can get out on it. It's an amazing place, and the harbor's where you do it. To get your own copy of Dan Hafley's book, 50 Years of Safe Harbor, visit Bookshop Santa Cruz, The Crow's Nest, or online at O'NeillSeaOdyssey.org.